MWC or the Mobile World Congress is one of the biggest shows on the planet that sees some of the most exciting tech products getting launched. This year, it wasn't very exciting, but it was surprising. We saw Samsung launches its flagship smartphones, the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. But in comparison, we saw companies like Nokia and Sony launching their flagship smartphones that very well compete with the S9 and the S9 Plus. You're watching India Today Tech and in this video, we're going to talk about the best smartphones that we saw at MWC 2018. Let's get started. So while the S9 and the S9 Plus were incremental updates and there was nothing new about its design, the Nokia 8 Sirocco turned out to be a head turner at MWC. The phone has a beautiful design. It has a curved display at front and a curved back as well. There is Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on both at front and back paste it onto the diamond cut stainless steel chassis. Despite having thin bezels, it retains a 16 is to 9 aspect ratio which you would find on a regular phone and that is a great thing about it. The phone is also IP67 waterproof but misses out on a headphone jack. Under the hood, it also has top notch internals and the cameras are also Zeiss certified. They are a 12 megapixel dual camera setup with optical image stabilization, dual pixel autofocus and 1.4 micrometer of pixel size. So within a short span of two years, Nokia finally has a flagship at its hands that can compete the likes of Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. But while the Nokia 8 Sirocco is priced humongously at 749 euros, which translates to about 60,000 rupees here in India, Nokia also launched a mid-ranger in form of Nokia 7 Plus that had similar cameras as the Nokia 8 Sirocco. Nokia 7 Plus appears to be an excellent device that could fill the 20 to 25,000 price gap here in India. It has a bezel-less design and dual cameras at the back. The phone itself is forged in a metal unibody design that has a beautiful look and feel to it. And like last year, Nokia also spun magic with the launch of its classic Nokia 8110 4G, the revamped version of the previous Nokia 8110. The phone was launched in yellow and black color, had a same banana-like shape and a slider at the front. The phone now supports 4G, has a color display, a camera at the back, and runs the Kai OS that supports apps like Facebook, Twitter, and also some games from Gameloft. Next, the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus were major announcements. Though there was not a big change in terms of design, but I would say if Samsung already has a great design in place in form of the S8, why change it to something that may not work out well? The biggest upgrade the phone gets is in the form of camera. There is a variable aperture lens on the camera now, that allows the aperture to go from f2.4 down to f1.5 which is very wide for a smartphone camera and the technology itself is quite novel. Also Samsung increased the differences between the S9 and the S9 Plus. While the S9 has 4 GB of RAM and single camera, the S9 Plus gets 6 GB of RAM and dual cameras at the back. I think Samsung did this to reduce the cost of S9 because now both these phones will be priced similar to what the S8 and the S8 Plus were, despite all the upgrades. I think the benefit of this will come in terms of price and this time the S9 should be priced similar to the S8 or maybe even lower than that. The phone is officially launching in India on March 6. It's already available for pre-booking and I think it should be priced between 40 to 45,000 rupees in India. Sony also announced its bezel-less smartphones at MWC, the Xperia XZ2 and the Xperia XZ2 Compact. The best part about the phones were its HDR display, a 4K HDR camera and a vibration feedback that works with movies as well. Sony is aiming to offer a TV-like experience with its Xperia XZ2 that has a 5.7-inch HDR display, dual speakers and the vibration technology while Sony did not announce the pricing of these phones at MWC, the phone was spotted listed on a German website at 799 euros, which translates to about 64,000 rupees in India. Now, one of the surprising phones announced at MWC was the Asus Zenfone 5. Not surprising in terms of innovation, but imitation. The phone looked exactly like the iPhone 10 and very thin bezels around the display. The phone has a 6.2 inch full HD panel 
that has an 18 to 9 aspect ratio and runs Snapdragon 660 under the hood with up to 6 GB of RAM. Phone runs Android 8.0 Oreo with Zen UI on top and comes with artificial intelligence based features like AI ringtone that adjusts the volume of ringtone according to the ambient noise and some intelligent object detection while using the cameras. The phone also has dual cameras at the back lined similarly to the iPhone 10 and a single camera and earpiece placed at the notch at front. I would like to cheat here and add a product that's not a smartphone though its features sound very similar to that of a new age phone. It has a bezel-less screen that comes with 90% screen to body ratio. It's a 1.3 kilo laptop I'm talking about that Huawei launched at MWC. The laptop has a very thin form factor, a spill resistant keyboard. There's Intel Core i7 doing the duty under the hood. And the laptop has three Thunderbolt ports that can extend its display to three 4K displays. The Huawei MateBook Pro was launched at a starting price of 1,20,000 rupees and may get launched in India soon. So these were the smartphones launched at MWC. Let us know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. Also, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share this video with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get latest videos on technology like this. Thank you for watching.